بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آنریبل چانسلر وائس چانسلر رسپیکٹیڈ آئی او یو گورننگ کاؤنسل اینڈ آئی او یو سینٹ ممبرز رسپیکٹیڈ اسکالرز اکمپلشڈ گریجویٹس آنریبل فیکلٹی اینڈ ایڈمنسٹریٹو اسٹاف ممبرز آف آئی او یو اینڈ اوور ڈسٹنگوشڈ گیسٹس آئی ایم ادیہ بخاری رجسٹرار آف دا انٹرنیشنل اوپن یونیورسٹی اینڈ آئی ایم یور ہوسٹ فار ٹو ڈیز ایوننگ Alhamdulillah. IOU is very honored to hold today's ceremony on the 7th of January 2023 to recognize the amazing achievement of our fall 2021 and spring 2022 graduating batches. Alhamdulillah, we feel extremely, extremely blessed and excited to witness about 440 students graduating from 57 different countries from all over the globe. Alhamdulillah, our distinguished graduates, this is a new beginning for you. We acknowledge your immense effort and your unwavering patience and so many sacrifices that many of you and your families have made to reach here. What an extraordinary moment this is and what a wonderful result we are witnessing today. Alhamdulillah, we are so pleased that you chose IOU to guide you on this path. And now moving on to the agenda. We will start the ceremony with a brief recitation of the Quran, followed by commencement addresses from our Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. Muhammad Ahsan, Honorable Vice Chancellor and President of IOU, Associate Professor Dr. Sherno Omar Barry, followed by our Honorable Guest Speaker, Dr. Muhammad Salah, and then our Honorable Chancellor, Professor Dr. Bilal Phillips. This will be followed by honoring the graduates, a glimpse into the journey of seeking knowledge, graduates reflection, valedictorian speech, and the vote of thanks. We will now officially begin the ceremony with a few ayat of the Quran by one of our students, Brother Ibrahim Abdullah. <laughs> أَفَرَأَيْتُمْ مَا تَحْرُثُونَ أَأَنْتُمْ تَزْرَعُونَهُ أَمْ نَحْنُ الزَّارِعُونَ لَوْ نَشَاءُ لَجَعَلْنَاهُ حِضَانًا فَظَلْتُمْ تَفَكَّهُونَ Don't. 
تنزيل من رب العالمين الحمد لله بارك الله فيكم brother for the beautiful recitation Professor Dr. Muhammad Ahsan, the first distinguished speaker to address today, is the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics of the International Open University. Professor Ahsan has graduated from four countries, Pakistan, Japan, Holland, and UK, and worked in two continents, Asia and Europe. And Dr. Ahsan is a distinguished research scholar, presently based in England, he has over uh, about three decades experience of research, teaching, and training in various capacities. In the fields of education, development studies, and globalization, his research has gained international recognition. And now we present to you Professor Dr. Mohammad Ahsan. Dear brothers and sisters, dear graduates, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I must say that today is a very special day for me and I'm sure it's a very special day for you and your families as well. Please accept my heartiest congratulations to you, all of you and your families. It's a matter of great pleasure for all of us and I'm just sharing and expressing my feelings with you that how pleased and how pleased and how happy I am, you know today. MashaAllah, you have completed your degree programs and today that's the certificates you are getting of those. Dear graduates, you know it very well, the object, the motto of uh, IOU, changing the nation through education, Muslim Ummah particularly. Yeah. And you know it very well, the challenges a number of networks of complicated challenges which Muslim Ummah is facing now. The challenges which Muslim Ummah is facing today are totally different as compared to the challenges which were 50 years ago, 100 years ago. Now in the age of electronics, while the world has totally changed during last two or three decades because of this electronic revolution, the nature of the problems also changed and it became very, very complicated, uh, 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 the situation. So here in IOU, our objective is that we prepare graduates, we prepare young Muslim to, to deal with those complicated challenges and try their best to uplift the Muslim um, which is already very deprived. If we see the state of Muslim Ummah in today's world, all of you know, I'm sure you know it very well, how behind Muslim Ummah is in every field. Every field, you name it, whether it's economic, or social, and so many other things, areas. You know. So now, my point is that, now, it's your responsibility that you use this enhanced knowledge and skills which you acquired from IOU, you use it for the benefit of Ummah. This is one thing. Second thing, my dear brothers and sisters, acquisition of knowledge never stops. You have completed your degree, it doesn't mean that now it stopped. No, I would say the actual process is started from now onward. A new chapter has started. Now, whatever you gained from IOU, that provided a big, strong, very strong base for you to develop your, yourself further, you know, in this area. All of us, we as a Muslim, always we are students. I always consider myself students, you know. Every day I'm learning something new and this is with all of us. So my humble request to you, me as your elder brother, my humble request to you is that please never stop acquiring acquisition of knowledge in any respect. And also, if you have completed your undergraduate program, 
please enroll for master's program we already have masters in in uh, 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 islamic studies and we will also soon start our masters program in uh, psychology and also after that other masters programs would be started uh, they are in the pipeline similarly we already have a, a phd in islamic sciences but we are working further in this area and there will be phd in other disciplines as well with a discipline specific phd inshallah although it will take time as you can imagine there is a lot of background work which needs to be done here so my you know point was that please you know try to enroll again with iou or maybe some other universities that's absolutely fine wherever you feel the best for you and also for the muslim ummah here yeah. that's absolutely fine but please never ever stop getting the knowledge yeah so these were few things which i wanted to share with you and uh, in addition to that also we have a very well developed our alumni association please stay in touch with us be an active member of our alumni and help university in any respect volunteering or some any help or you know whether it is attracting more students so that they could also benefit from iou and later on they can serve the umma or fundraising or anything you know whatever you feel convenient in which you can work comfortably and you can give the benefit to iou please think of that and work in that area as i said that you are always with us you live in our heart not now only but also in future we pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for your well being and please all as i said please always stay in touch with iou inshallah thank you very much jazakallah khair and my dua for all of you and your families may allah bless all of you wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh thank you very much jazakallah khair sheikh for your wonderful message to our graduates dr sherna omar barry is presently the chief executive officer and founder of the institute of global and african languages and cultures as well as the president of the international open university He previously served as the inaugural executive secretary of the National Human Rights Commission uh, where he helped establish the secretariat. He was until recently the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Defense in the Gambia where he was tasked to manage the day-to-day -day activities of the ministry as its chief administrator. He also held the position of uh, permanent secretary in several ministries, uh, higher education research, science and technology, health and social welfare, youth and sports energy as well as the president's office in the gambia dr barry also serves as chairman of the board of directors of the alliance francis president of the writers association of the gambia president of the collecting society of the gambia and chairman of two leading private vocational institutions gaianjoro skills training center and inside training he is also the director of marketing administration and finance of the global hands publishing international dr barry holds a phd in comparative literature with the L university of limoges france dr barry has contributed articles in several publications and presented papers on different topics he represented the gambia national commission for unesco in several conferences among other achievements it is notable that in 2011 he was appointed counselor and gambia's representative to unesco in paris france he is a recipient of different prestigious awards it is my honor and pleasure to invite now our vice chancellor and president dr sherno omar barry assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh our students and distinguished guests of the ninth convocation ceremony of the international open university It is a great pleasure and honor for me on behalf of IOU to congratulate our most recent batch of graduates Fall 2021 and Spring 2022 
This is indeed an extraordinary moment in your lives as you complete your formal education and step into the world as graduates of the International Open University. The key here is to remember that you are special. The knowledge you earn should inculcate certain core values in you. Do your work honestly, respect Allah's creation, make wise decisions, adopt approved attitudes to everything, and most importantly, be guided in the way of Allah. I also want to highlight that your studies and qualifications earned at IOU are very important to us. We have been relentlessly working with NACA, the accreditation authorities here in the Gambia, where the IOU headquarters are based. We are glad to say that we are doing very well in this regard. We have successfully completed the accreditation process for all the undergraduate programs and have embarked on the accreditation of the master's programs. A number of our alumni, your predecessors in IOU, are getting admitted into different prestigious universities around the world, notably in the USA, the UK, and Malaysia, to name a few. Many others are excelling in their jobs or joining prestigious jobs. I hope and pray the same for you, for your success, and when you progress in your educational and professional career, always focus on the good teachings you acquired. Remember that useful knowledge sets one apart from others. My sincere advice to you is that you stay focused, Stay humble and read. Read beneficial works as we have a long legacy of scholarship in Islamic studies and contemporary beneficial works. Stay in touch with others who share your vision. Build a community and connect with the global community using the knowledge you have gained. Be the ambassadors of IOU. Remember that it does not matter how much you are educated. If it does not shape you to make to have the characters we should emulate in our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if it does not make you the person everyone can look up to with confidence for advice and emulate you for your honesty, humility, and decency, then you would have failed. That your education make you among the best of mankind. And finally, I congratulate all of you once again. Today is a special day and my best wishes to you and your families. I also commend all the staff, both academic and administration, of the International Open University for successfully guiding you through to this level. I thank all the sponsors and I thank everyone else who have contributed in any way, small or big, to the success of the International Open University. Barakallahu fikum, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Jazakallah Karen, Dr. Barry, for the very enlightening commencement address. Inshallah, our graduates will immensely benefit from your wise words. Dr. Muhammad Salah is the religious advisor of Huda Satellite TV in Egypt. This is one of the leading uh, Islamic channels broadcasting exclusively in English since 2005. He's the presenter of Ask Huda, Correct Your Recitation, and Gardens of the Pious programs, which were rated as the highest viewed programs to be broadcasted by Huda TV. Uh, Dr. Salah led the Islamic Center of Victoria, Texas, and founded two Islamic and Arabic schools. He was a lecturer at Al-Azhar University, Islamic University of North America and London College Online. Uh, Dr. Salah had enriched the Islamic video library by producing more than 1,500 of live and recorded uh, broadcasting hours in both English and Arabic languages. Dr. Salah has a BA in Pharmacy and BA in Islamic Law, Al-Azhar University, and he has master's degree in Dawa and PhD in Islamic studies and fiqh. And now, it is my great honor to present to you Dr. Muhammad Salah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala nabihi wa mustafa wa ba'd. I'm very pleased to be a part of those who acknowledge and participate in celebrating the ninth anniversary of the International Open University, which is led by uh, Dr. Bilal Phillips, may Allah bless him and his entire team. A huge project, a huge project which requires a nation or a government, a regime to be behind it. But subhanAllah, it only took one person. So in the beginning, I would like to ask the Almighty Allah to bless Dr. Bilal Phillips, his family and his entire team for their dedication, for being very zealous, highly zealous, and for their great achievement. Secondly, I want to congregate uh, those who graduated from 
the International Open University, thousands of them over the past years, whether they obtained the BA or diploma or masters, or those who are still working on postgraduate education, and those who are still undergrad, and there are tens of thousands of them. You know, you've chosen to take a path to Jannah. The Prophet وسلم, said in the sound hadith, من سلك طريقا يبتغي به علما سهل الله له به طريقا إلى الجنة Whoever decides to take a path, to seek knowledge, to embark on a journey of learning, useful knowledge, that would definitely lead him. And this is one of the shortcuts to Jannah, to heaven. May Allah make us from among its dwellers. You find the Quran, the Almighty Allah is presenting a question which its answer is already known as a rhetoric question. Are they equal? Are they even? Those who know, those who have knowledge and those who don't, obviously not. The Almighty Allah recognizes, admires, praises, rewards those who learn and the learned one and those who pay the due zakah of this knowledge by imparting it and sharing it with others. Everything has a zakah. A zakah of knowledge to pay its due zakah is to share it with others. That's why superiority, according to our beautiful religion, before Allah the Almighty, superiority is for those who learn and teach. Not just learn and keep it for themselves. Learn, practice, and teach. In the sound hadith, which is narrated by Uthman ibn Affan, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet sallallahu said, the best of all of you is the one who learns the Qur'an, then teaches it to others. And the Qur'an here does not necessarily only mean how to read the Qur'an, because this is the first step on a long path of learning the word of Allah, or being blessed, or being from among the family which Allah loves, chooses, and He keeps for Himself. Ahlullahi wa khassatu, Ahlul Qur'an. Those who surround the table of the glorious Qur'an to learn how to read it, to learn its meaning, to ponder over it, to practice it, to share it with others, to give da'wah via the means of the Qur'an, وَجَهِدْهُمْ بِهِ جِهَادًا كَبِيرًا To observe jihad in their personal life against their inner desire and against all the doubtful matters and in the field of da'wah with the greatest and the sharpest weapon which is the word of Allah the glorious Quran خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَمَهِ The International Open University offers all of that offers courses, BA and diplomas and masters in Islamic studies, in Arabic, in psychology in business administration, in various fields it's amazing and what is more amazing that they, um, that they took the initiative and the precedence way before anyone else when they made it easy for the seekers of knowledge to acquire knowledge at the comfort of their homes. They don't have to travel to Syria or Egypt or encounter trouble here and there. Everything is online. In the virtual rooms and classrooms, you can meet with the teachers, see and hear them as if you're sitting with them with our private tutoring, or in a class along with other colleagues, students who may be doctors, engineers, dentists, lawyers, district attorneys in their prospective countries. But one thing united the hearts and gathered all of them, which is the love of the deen and the love of learning. I love this ayah of Surah Fatir in which Allah the Almighty says, إِنَّمَا يَخْشَ اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ In Arabic, إِنَّمَا is a tool for حَصْر وَقَصْر يعني only those are exception. Those who have knowledge are those who fear Allah most. And fearing Allah most means that they keep their duties to Him because they know the boundaries, they know the hudud, they know what to do and what not to do. And this is something really praised in Islam. Allah the Almighty appreciates that so much. Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy on his soul, says, the need of people for learning is way greater than need to eat and drink. It is as much as the need to breathe. 
this is as much as they need to breathe, they need to learn. Because when you uh, eat or drink, some people eat once a day, some two. Average people eat three meals a day. But the need for knowledge is with every breath. You know, because you're here in this life and on earth by the leave of Allah to fulfill a certain purpose. There are a lot of people who do not know that purpose. Once I was teaching a group of American audience, and I asked them, that was in the state of Texas, if any of them by any means would tell me what is the purpose of life. They're all grown up. So one of them, only one, got up and said, yes, sir. He said, yes. He said, it was my parents' fault. It is very disappointing when grown-up people lived for 30, 40, 50, or even 60 years of their lives, and they have no clue for what purpose they were created and what is awaiting them and what they should do in this life in order to secure salvation on the Day of Judgment. International Open University will serve that purpose, will make people comprehend the purpose of life and how to fulfill it best, how to fulfill it best through learning. The first commandment and the first revelation ever to Prophet Muhammad was signifying the importance of learning. Iqra' Read in the name of your Lord. Alladhi khalaq The one who created is commanding you to learn, to read, to write, to comprehend, to teach. Allama al-insana ma lam ya'lam He taught human beings what they did not know, what they knew not. And this knowledge should not be kept confidential and in secret. Rather, it should be spread all over the world. When Allah the Almighty said to His Messenger وسلم, in Surah Yusuf, قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرَةٍ أَنَا وَمَنِ اتَّبَعَنِي وَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Oh Muhammad, Allah says to His Prophet وسلم, Tell them, this is my path. I call people unto Allah on an insight. There is, a, there is a doctrine, there is a constitution, there is an insight. If you follow, you become a great, successful preacher like Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi He didn't keep for himself. When he died, he didn't take it with him. He left it for us. And then he said, Ana wa man Me and those who follow me. So if you consider yourself a follower of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi then you're automatically become his messenger. And how would you convey his message? Ala basira. And where to get the basira from? And how to learn it? Through seeking knowledge. Once again, the International Open University serves that purpose. And it is not for much. There are many uh, distant learning institutes and academies. And they're all good, mashallah. But I, I do highly recommend that uh, everyone should take advantage to sign up with any of these institutes, as long as you know who is your teacher and you're able in the live session, not only the pre-recorded, to chat, to ask questions, to receive the answer right uh, in the live session. This is very important. To know who's your sheikh, to have the continuous uh, chain of narrations and testimony, you know, because you become your sheikh automatically, you know, he becomes your mentor. He teaches you. I have learned from his sheikh all the way to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you got to make sure that you're learning from the proper source. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless all of those who are uh, working hard in the International Open University to serve the purpose of teaching the knowledge which would guide people to the path of Allah and for the purpose for which they were created. And all the students who signed up and those who graduated and those who will sign up in the future, I call Khawli Hada wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallahu khairan shaykh uh, for your very uh, wonderful speech. I'm sure our graduates will really appreciate the wonderful uh, words that you have shared with us and the beautiful words of wisdom. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallahu khairan. Our founder and chancellor, Dr. Bilal Phillips, is a Jamaican-Canadian Islamic scholar who converted to Islam. 
Shortly after his reversion, he embarked on a spiritual academic journey to the other side of the world, seeking Islamic knowledge in Saudi Arabia, where he completed a BA in Islamic studies in Medina and an MA in Islamic theology in Riyadh, and later a PhD at the University of Wales in Islamic theology. Professor Dr. Bilal Phillips has written, translated, and commented on over 50 published books on various Islamic topics. He has also edited and published the 56th book, Iman Reading Series for Children, and has presented Islamic programs for a number of years on Riyadh Channel 2 TV, Sharjah TV for 10 years, as well as Peace TV, Huda TV, Islam Channel, and The Dean Show. In March 2010, he launched the for, for the first time in history an accredited tuition-free BA in Islamic Studies program at the International Open University, which was formerly known as the Islamic Online University. This incredible effort has earned his ranking in the Jordanian publication as one of the 500 most influential Muslims. He has selflessly dedicated himself to changing the nation through education since he founded our university, IOU, and this noble effort of affordable, easily accessible, accredited education online. Alhamdulillah. Dr. Bilal Phillips will now address you briefly to express his sincere congratulations and appreciation for your achievements. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is the ninth convocation ceremony of the International Open University. Every year, it is heartwarming to see hundreds of students gathering. This year we have over 440 graduates from 57 different countries. Congratulations to all the graduates of different bachelor's degrees, diplomas and certificate programs, as well as master's programs for all of the disciplines, including information technology, business administration, Islamic studies, Arabic, education, psychology, Islamic economics, banking and finance, as well as others. Indeed, it is always our focus at IOU to ensure that our students are well aware of the importance of seeking useful knowledge. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu used to warn us by seeking refuge in Allah from useless knowledge. It was his warning for us to make sure that we focus on useful knowledge which will benefit society. We groom our students from every corner of the globe to become active members of society and to be responsible citizens in their communities. What we should understand is that once we graduate and we enter into the workforce, we're entering to, into another realm of worship. While we were studying, we were engaged in worship because seeking knowledge is a way to paradise. Gaining knowledge, sharing that knowledge, all of that is ways by which we earn great reward before Allah and make our religion the best for ourselves and for our societies. So once we graduate and we enter into the workforce, this now becomes another form of worship. We could call it work worship. And we should treat whatever work we gain as a form of worship. We should make sure that we work in accordance with the teachings of Islam. We should ensure that the work that we do is in fact beneficial to society and not harmful. Furthermore, we should continue our studies. Because we've graduated doesn't mean we should now give up, no more study. 
No, our study process should continue until we leave this world. And we should work for the betterment of society with the degrees that we have earned. We should actively engage with the wider community to spread the light of knowledge. As the Prophet ﷺ had said that the knowledge shared is what elevates us to the highest levels in the sight of Allah. When he said, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَ which you've all heard a thousand times, the best of you are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it to others. Teach it to others is stressed at the end, that we spread that light, we share that knowledge. So my dear students and the families of our students who have graduated, I ask Allah to bless you with your efforts and bless all those who sought to provide this knowledge for you. Barakallah fikum, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khairan Sheikh for your very enlightening speech. Here I would like to take a moment to express the utmost appreciation and gratitude on behalf of the National Open University to the entire academic faculty for your diligent efforts to make IUU the best educational experience for our students and graduates. It requires much dedication and sincerity to be able to not only educate, but also to actually inspire an entire graduating class to go forth and apply this knowledge in their own lives, as well as to spread it to those around them and bring great benefit to their respective communities. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and accept your efforts. And over here, I would like to extend a special thanks to our administrators because none of this would be possible without the great efforts of the entire IU administration and staff who have been working dedicatedly uh, throughout the years behind the scenes. So here we extend our sincere appreciation and gratitude for all the long hours of highly professional work done on a daily basis to make what IOU is today and to really carry out the vision of providing quality education, facilitating our students. And we have, alhamdulillah, a wonderful team of competent and enthusiastic Muslims from every corner of the world, making our workplace full of excitement and diverse ways of thinking that make it a daily pleasure to serve the Ummah in this noble mission. Barakallahu fikum. Now, alhamdulillah, we have reached the most awaited part of the ceremony, and that is the awarding of the virtual certificates to our graduates. Here, uh, all the uh, qualifications, the degrees, diplomas, and certificates will be conferred to our graduates uh, by the registrar, Sayyidah Madiha Bukhari, and our Vice Chancellor, Dr. Sherno Omar Barry. And uh, the programs will be uh, listed one after another. <laughs> We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Studies who have successfully completed their program of study. And 
Then he motions to me to come forward and drink from his hands. Oh. But I'll be motionless, just staring at this most beautiful man. Most beautiful man. Who saved me from hellfire, pleading to Allah, Ya Almighty. Ya Almighty. So bless the slave and to Jannah for eternity. ولم تر عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها أنهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريحها وها سلام فلي
ولم ترى عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها أنهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريحها وها سلام فلن يأتي حلمك قوما بما قد رأى مع الحبيب أن أراه في أبوابها وأمتي أن أراها في دار السلام فيا إلى I pray for جنة 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 I pray for جنة 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 I raise my hand Dear President of the International Open University I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Studies degree of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as president and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Bachelor of Arts degree in Islamic Studies of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on this screen the students of the Master of Arts in Islamic Studies who have successfully completed their program of study. ولم ترى عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها أنهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريحها وها سلام فلن يأتي حلمك قوما بما قد رأى مع الحبيب أن أراه في أبوابها وأمتي أن أراها في دار السلام Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Master of Arts in Islamic Studies degree of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President or otherwise also known as the Vice Chancellor and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Master of Arts degree in Islamic Studies of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Bridge Diploma to MA in Islamic Studies program who have successfully completed their program of study. Oh, but I'll be motionless just staring at this most beautiful man, most beautiful man who saved me from hellfire pleading to Allah, Ya Ummati, Ya Ummati, so blessed sleep. Jannah for eternity, for eternity. Look what Allah's 
strive for what you said for I want a girl When no eyes never see No ears never heard No mind can imagine Paradise No more tests, no more tears No more trials A paradise Just to hold my mother in my arms A paradise ولم تر عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها أنهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريح هواها سلا فلن يأتي حلمك قوما بما قد رأى مع الحبيب أن أراه في أبوابها وأمتي أن أراها في دار السلام فيا إلى I pray for جنة 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 I pray for جنة 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 Just to see him standing with the salihin welcoming them And then he motions to me to come forward and drink from his hands oh. But I'll be motionless just staring at this most beautiful man Most beautiful man Who saved me from hellfire pleading to Allah to sleep and to Jannah for eternity. Look what Allah's mercy and blessings have brought. This is what you strive for, what you sent for. I want a girl when no eyes never see, no ears never heard, no mind can imagine. Paradise, no more tests, no ولم تر عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها أنهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريح هواها سلا فلن يأتي حلم
Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bridge Diploma to MA in Islamic Studies qualification of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Bridge Diploma to MA in Islamic Studies of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen students of the Bachelor of Arts in Arabic Language and Linguistics degree program who have successfully completed the studies. ولم ترى عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها انهار عدن ترى Dear President of the International Open University I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bachelor of Arts in Arabic Language and Linguistics degree program of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as president, or otherwise also known as the vice chancellor, and on behalf of the chancellor, I admit all of those whose names are displayed on the screen to the Bachelor of Arabic Language and Linguistics degree of the International Open University. Congratulations. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Bridge Diploma to MA in Arabic Language and Linguistics program who have successfully completed their program of study. Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bridge Diploma to MA in Arabic Language and Linguistics qualification of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Bridge Diploma to MA in Arabic Language and Linguistics of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen 
the students of the Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration degree who have successfully completed their program of study. ولم ترى عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها أنهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريحها وها سلام فلي Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration degree of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Bachelor of Arts degree in Business Administration of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Bachelor of Arts in Education degree who have successfully completed their program of study. ولم ترى عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها أنهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريحها وها سلام فلي
Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the Bachelor of Arts in Education degree of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President, and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Bachelor of Arts degree in Education of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen students of the Bachelor of Education Hybrid Degree Program from the Gambia who have successfully completed the program. ولم تر عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها انهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريحها وهسلا Dear President of the International Open University I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bachelor of Education hybrid degree of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as president or otherwise also known as the vice chancellor and on behalf of the chancellor, I admit all of those whose names are displayed on the screen to the Bachelor of Education hybrid degree program of the International Open University. Congratulations. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Bachelor of Science in Islamic Economics, Banking and Finance degree who have successfully completed their program of study. Just to hold 
Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bachelor of Science in Islamic Economics, Banking and Finance degree of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President, and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names we are displayed on the screen to the Bachelor of Science degree in Islamic Economics, Banking and Finance of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Bachelor of Science in Psychology degree who have successfully completed their program of study. ولم تر عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها انهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريح هواها سلاما
Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bachelor of Science in Psychology degree of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President, and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Bachelor of Science degree in Psychology of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Bachelor of Science and Information Technology degree who have successfully completed their program of study. ولم ترى عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها انهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريحها وها سلام Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bachelor of Science and in Information Technology degree of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Bachelor of Science degree in Information Technology of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen students of the Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Studies degree program from the Bahasa Indonesia campus who have successfully completed the program. Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Studies degree from the Bahasa Indonesia campus of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President, or otherwise also known as the Vice-Chancellor, and on behalf of the Chancellor, 
I admit all of those whose names are displayed on the screen to the Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Studies degree of the Bahasa Indonesia campus of the International Open University. Congratulations. We do hereby announce on the screen students of the Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Studies degree program from the Russian campus who have successfully completed the studies. Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Studies degree program from the Russian campus of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as president or otherwise also known as the vice chancellor and on behalf of the chancellor, I admit all of those whose names are displayed on the screen to the Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Studies degree of the Russian campus of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the associate degree program who have successfully completed their program of study. ولم تر عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها انهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريحها وها سلام فلن ياتي حلمك قوما بما قد راى Sleep into Jannah for eternity. 
Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the associate degree program of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as president, and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the program. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the certificate program who have successfully completed their program of study. ولم تر عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها انهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريح هواها سلام فلن ياتي حلمك قوما بما قد راى ولم تر عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها انهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريح هواها سلام فلن ياتي حلمك قربا بما قد راى مع الحبيب ان اراه في 
Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the certificate qualification of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the program. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Diploma of Intensive Arabic Program who have successfully completed their program of study. Who save me from hellfire, pleading to Allah, Ya Ummati, Ya Ummati. So bless the slave, enter Jannah for eternity. ولم تر عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها انهار عدن ترى وعطرها مسك يريحها وها سلام Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Diploma of Intensive Arabic Program of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the program. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Ijaza program who have successfully completed their program of study. For eternity, for eternity. Look what Allah's mercy and blessings have brought. This is what you strive for, what you sent for. I want to go.
Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Ijaza qualification of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Ijaza of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Quran Memorization Program who have successfully completed their program of study. Dear President of the International Open University, I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the Quran Memorization Qualification of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as President and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Quran Memorization of the International Open University. We do hereby announce on the screen the students of the Tajweed Intensive Program who have successfully completed their program of study. ولم تر عينك في الدنيا مثل سما وتجري من تحتها انهار عدن ترى Dear President of the International Open University I hereby present to you these candidates who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the the Jewish intensive qualification of the International Open University. By the authority vested in me as president and on behalf of the Chancellor, I admit all of those whose names were displayed on the screen to the Tajweed intensive program of the International Open University. Congratulations, Mabruk, Alf Mabruk to all of our brothers and sisters. Uh, on all the gra degrees that uh, you have received. May Allah bless you all for your efforts, continue to support you and make this a means of Sadaqah Jariya for you. Ameen. Now we will share a glimpse into some of the graduates' testimonials of their beautiful journeys on the path of seeking knowledge. Uh, here we will have a 
brief look at it and the longer version is also going to be available on the convocation website so please have a look over there as well and i hope you enjoy this segment inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh anas ibn malik may allah be pleased with him narrated that our beloved prophet peace be upon him said whoever takes a road to obtain the knowledge Allah makes the road to paradise easy for him. What a great and what inspiring hadith. My dream of gaining a degree almost fades away. As somebody who came from a poor family and cannot afford the tuition fees to other universities. But thanks to the International Open University and Dr. Bilal Phillips for restoring our confidence, restoring our dreams and bringing our dreams to reality, and today we are here graduating with a degree. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. For instance, I did my community service in an Islamic institution where I get to interact with the instructors and then the, the students. I was able to use what I learned in IU to motivate them to learn the deen and to also be able to make research on issues concerning the deen. Determination is paramount when once you determine to pursue something you go for it as a father of three and a full-time teacher of the muslim senior secondary school one would have thought it would have been very very difficult i'm looking at my age and i was 53 years when i started these studies the university has been the opportunity in a lifetime even that's an understatement rather than say goodbye to my period of my life, which meant a lot to me, I will say thank you, International Open University, to giving me the character I need to keep building and the brain I need to keep expanding. IOU has been beneficial to me in offering quality education all from the comfort of my home. Their Arabic courses have been especially beneficial to me in building my vocabulary and developing my relationship with the Qur'an. Uh, my experience at IOU was a very good one, alhamdulillah, uh, because of the scheduling, uh, because it's online class, I was able to complete my studies as well as to, uh, to do my job, as well as to do Islamic work. So it facilitates and it makes it easy for me, alhamdulillah. All I can say is jazakumullah wa khairan to the founder, Dr. Bilal Phillips, the teachers, and all those who made International Open University possible. Haqiqatan ta'allamana ad-deen wa wajadna al-thaqafa min hadhi al-jami'ati al-jamila. Wa la nastati'u an nukafi'akum. بل نقول جزا الله عنكم بجنته النعيم. Studying Islamic uh, knowledge, Islamic and authentic knowledge, has never been easy, especially to those who reside in a non-Muslim country. An individual needs to travel in a certain Muslim country like Saudi Arabia in order to get a bachelor's degree in Islamic studies and Sharia. But Alhamdulillah, IOU makes it possible in just a click in our computer. After joining International Open University in the course of becoming a software developer, the first lesson I learned was doing it for the sake of Allah in the course called Etiquette of Seeking Knowledge. I would like to specially extend my gratitude to the founder of our university, Dr. Bilal Phillips, and posthumously thank our late professor, Dr. Aisha Utz, for her unending contribution to our department and making it possible for us to understand how beautifully Islam and psychology harmonize. My experience studying Islam has been that every institution taught customary practices fabricated according to their own perspective. In fact, these practices have no virtue in Islam. Without wandering or getting exhausted, if one wants to seek true Islamic knowledge, then they must join IOU. Alhamdulillah, thank Allah. I managed to get a, a teaching a teaching post as an assistant at an Islamic school. So Allah has made it easy for me. I'm grateful to Allah. I'm grateful for IOU for giving me that opportunity. Alhamdulillah, today I am in position 
to challenge policy decisions of the central government. Even small skills businesses that are in the country, I'm able to guide them, give them necessary advice to be able to operate as and when it suits them. Well, my experience as a student of IOU has been interesting. But let me also say it has been challenging because, you know, working full time and then also trying to pursue a degree has never been easy. But, you know, made it and, you know, Alhamdulillah. This is my second graduation with International Open University. First, it was uh, in 2016 when I was celebrating completing Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Studies. And today, Alhamdulillah, I am celebrating that I've completed a Master of Arts in Islamic Studies. As a humbled student and proud student of this university, Jazakumullah khairan, faculty members and all the staff of this university that have the purest intentions in their hearts. Jazakumullah khairan, IOU Help Desk, you guys are truly warriors. You've been there through it all. Alhamdulillah, all thanks to IOU and the GQMC Center and my Sheikha at the GQMC, Sheikha Maryam Nashad. Thank you very much. May Allah bless you abundantly. I'd like to take a moment to thank Mr. Bilal Phillips for creating this wonderful institution and my family and teachers for supporting me throughout this journey. I can't thank enough to Dr. Bilal Phillips, all of our professors and teachers for teaching us the authentic knowledge, making us feel proud to be Muslims and developing a strong Muslim generation. The impression I got while studying at this international open university is that I can study flexibly without reducing the quality of knowledge I get because the courses are still arranged systematically. The one and best advice maybe that I would like to give to all IOU students is this. Where there is a will, there is a way. As long as you are committed, consistent, dedicated to study, so as to gain knowledge, you will. One other thing is prayer on the same. Very, very important. During this period, my studies were interrupted for a while due to my wife's illness as diagnosed final stage of lung cancer. Sadly, she passed away after 15 months. Thanks to Dr. Bilal Philip and his staff of IOU for the supplication made for her well-being during her hard time. But Alhamdulillah, the encouragement and support of my family made me complete the degree on time. Um, I just want to say Jazakallah Khair to IOU. Um, they've always been really understanding whenever I've had any personal problems. Um, they've helped me um, extend the deadline so I'm able to complete the tasks. This has been a great enriching experience for me as I have gained a lot of vital and precious knowledge in Tajweed rules as well as the proper way of Quran recitation. It was indeed a great challenge despite working and studying simultaneously aside from family obligations. However, if you are really sincere in seeking this knowledge and you have thought about its importance and benefits in this world and in the hereafter, those obstacles will vanish and you will be motivated to achieve your goals. These four years has been very amazing to me. It helped me into shaping myself into a better Muslim. I've got to clear so many misconceptions, misinformation that I had of our religion due to our culture. I learned about the Islamic way of trading, transactions, and the prohibition of riba, that is interest in Islam, among many other topics. And subhanAllah, my outlook has changed ever since. As I love how Islam has taken every detail into consideration and how beneficial and just it can be for all the parties involved in a deal. At the time, I almost uh, lost uh, hope that I could uh, further my education in Islamic studies. But I always had this at the back of my mind that I wanted to do it. I came across uh, Islamic Online University, now International Open University. I was so much uh, happy. I was so much encouraged. I was so much uh, motivated. Most importantly, uh, by Dr. Bill Philip, may Allah reward him greatly. Second point is um, understanding of the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
Um, yes, I read about it, but when I started studying at IOU, my understanding of his life is exceptionally improved. Completing the course and obtaining a degree is not the end. Because after that there is a greater responsibility on our shoulders as graduates of BSc Psychology to help the members of our Ummah who are suffering from psychological issues. I'll be always grateful to Dr. Bilal Flips and the entire IOU management and the donors that are helping giving scholarships or providing the fund to students across the globe. It is very crucial for the Ummah today to gain worthy knowledge that will benefit them in both the worlds. And I would strongly recommend IOU for a quality education. It was such a mind-blowing and unique experience for me, learning about the human mind and mental health using Islamic perspectives and approaches. I believe that this course is going to be a game changer for a lot of Muslims around the world. I'm most I'm thankful for is the Islamic courses that were inculcated in the main courses, uh, changing our lives for the better and our way of life and thinking. It was difficult for me to go and study in a university, but by joining IOU, I can study from my home base at any time and any place without leaving the kids alone. The lessons that I learned are very valuable to me as a Muslim, as a mother, and inshallah, as an educator. For me, learning in IOU is really not for the certificate, but it's for my personal benefit and knowledge. I enjoyed all lessons from the university, but mostly I enjoyed lessons with Dr. Anwar. Always cheerful and charming. Allah bless you, doctor. The research assignments were the most challenging aspect of the MIS program. But Alhamdulillah, that has capacitated me, encouraged me to do academic researches. Alhamdulillah again for that. And I believe that IOU has prepared each and every one of us to be able to strive in any other learning environment that we find ourselves tomorrow, you know, in order to develop our, our educational career. Through my degree at IOU, I have been able to contribute to my community by teaching Quranic Arabic to people of all ages, from young children to the elderly, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I joined the university from the UK where it's very difficult to find a, an opportunity to complete the degree without taking out interest-based student loans. So I was um, incredibly pleased to find um, this university, which is affordable um, and doesn't require taking out any loans. I hail from a Barelvi Yoon family and was in the initial part of my life involved in all sorts of shirk and bida. Now, due to the education at International Open University, I can now give dawa to my family, to my friends, and to everybody who's connected to me. This is very, very inspiring. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, may Allah bless you all. Ameen. At this point, we would like to request our most accomplished student to address you, inshaAllah. Sister Kafayat Aziz is a trainee psychologist with special interest in pediatric psychology. She's passionate about helping youngsters and their families overcome emotional, behavioral, social, and academic difficulties in order to position them to access global opportunities. She is the top student from her graduating class of spring 2022 from IOU's BSc in Psychology degree program. We will now welcome our valedictorian sister Kafayat Aziz from Nigeria. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Kifaya Aziz. I'm one of the graduates of today, Department of Psychology, Springs 2022 batch. Alhamdulillah, we are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for preserving us to see this blessed day. We are thankful to Allah for crowning all our effort with outstanding success. I would like to appreciate all our honorable guests for making our time to celebrate with us today. Jazakumullah khairan. I would also like to um, appreciate the entire team at IOU with the help of Allah and your collective efforts we are able to get to where we are today. 
Zakum Lokayan. We appreciate all the constant motivation, the push, all the activities put into place, the constant reminders, the trainings. Jazakum Lokayan. May Allah reward you all with abundant goodness. May Allah grant you all Jannah to the free of house. Amin. I would like to begin with a brief story about my journey at IOU. The most memorable event for me was that when I enrolled in spring 2018, the first day of my first semester, March 1st, 2018, was also the day I gave birth to my second baby. And I could remember my husband telling me then to probably wait till the following semester. He was being concerned that I need to relax and all. But I told him that be easy, like I got this. I'm going to put in the work and a life game to grant me success. Alhamdulillah, four years later, I'm graduating with a bachelor's in psychology. Not just one of the graduates, but the best graduating student. The first position holder, Department of Psychology, Spring 2022 batch. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I believe that should serve as motivation to our future students, the prospective students that are still on the fence, should I enroll all my, with all my schedules and all. I would advise you to begin to, to enroll, to begin your courses, seek the help of Allah through patience and prayers, purify your intentions, manage your schedule appropriately, and in a few years, we'll be celebrating you all with to the current students, the great IOU students, mashallah, I see you all, my brothers and sisters. You're putting in the effort now. We in the love. May Allah grant you all success. I would advise you all to continue to manage your time appropriately. Be patient and resilient. I know there are a lot of assignments, modules, a lot of activities to be complete. Continue to, do your, to be diligent with your ta tasks. May Allah grant you all victory. To my fellow graduates, congratulations, Mabrook. Everybody here today has gathered to celebrate us. We put in the work and Allah SWT blessed it for us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I'd like to remind us all that as we are graduating today, we sought the knowledge, but knowledge is a tree with fruits. And one of the fruits of knowledge is action. Everything we've learned, we should put it in action to better our lives, the lives of the people around us, our families, the Ummah and the world at large. Another important fruit of knowledge is more knowledge. For every sincere seeker of knowledge, you know that the more you learn, the more you need to learn. So we should continue to be lifelong learners. IOU has built in us the two important skills, research and critical thinking. We should continue to think critically. We should um, always activate our discerning spirit. We should be researching new knowledge. We should be innovative. Barak I would also like to remind us that as we pursue our dreams and ambitions, we should not despair. Our Lord is our Rahman, the most merciful. His mercy encompasses all things and is able to do all things. So we should put in the work, pursue our goals. We should always seek the help of Allah through prayers and be easily we will be victorious. I would also like to remind us about the two important skills, the two G's to greatness. On our way to greatness, we should remember these two skills. Gratitude plus good character. Our Lord says, La in shakartum, la zidan nakum. When we are grateful, Allah will increase us in all goodness that we desire. And when we look at the science of well being, positive psychology, we see that there's a big way given to gratitude. Because gratitude ensures our spiritual and emotional well being. When we are grateful, we're able to celebrate our small wins. The grateful person, while the whole world is lamenting, wailing about the economic situations, complaining about the leaders, the grateful person is able to, to appreciate and be thankful for the little resources at their disposal and they are able to leverage on them to assess the bigger opportunities that they desire. They continue to work on themselves, they are grateful, they are able to use their little resources to impact the world at large. The second key skill is good character. I know that as we are graduating, we would have taken at least two or more courses of our amazing Chancellor Dr. Bilal Phillips, may Allah be serving upon goodness and Iman, and in most of his courses, he repeats this at this. The Professor Sam said, that he was raised to perfect good character. If the greatest man of all times was raised to perfect good character, that should tell you how beautiful and important good character is. And when we look at the careers, the workplaces, we see that at the beginning, your technical skills are important, or you're able to do an offer. But as you climb up the ladder, you see that the top 1% it's just about like the 30% of their technical skills and 70% of their character, their personality, their connection, their relationships. And for us to build amazing connections, beautiful relationships, we need to be an emblem of noble character. So we should be the kind people, the humble people, the people who support other people in their journey, the forgiving, the patient and resilient people. May Allah grant us all success. 
as we are leaving today we are graduating i know we are we have mixed emotions we're going to miss everybody but we should always remember that we are living with a part of the identity of the institution so wherever we are we should be graceful we should be notable alumni of this great institution and ultimately we should be beautiful ambassadors of islam if you forget everything else i said today because the human being has been created forgetful always remember the two g's to the big g with desire gratitude plus good character equals greatness on that note i will be ending my speech to everyone whatever good i've said is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and whatever thing i've said in error is from shaitan and from myself may allah forgive me and you but i'm thankful to all our honorable guests and everyone here to celebrate with us today to my fellow graduates and to everyone i remain your sister in islam and one of your biggest cheerleaders Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakillah khair and sister for your beautiful address, mashallah. Congratulations to you once again. Alhamdulillah, at this point, we are excited to announce a surprise for our graduates now. There is a special token of appreciation for our top students within each program. Alhamdulillah. I'm honored to announce the names of the recipients of the ninth Convocation Awards at the International Open University. Sister Hania Arij, Sayyid Nusratullah, from BIS degree program, Fall 2021 graduating batch from UAE. She's being awarded one semester scholarship for our MAIS program. Inayat M. Mitwani, BIS degree program, Spring 2022 graduating batch from Kenya is being awarded one semester scholarship of our MAIS program. Amro Abdelalim Shafiq Muhammad Ibrahim, uh, he's from MAI's degree graduating batch is fall 2021. He's from Canada and is being awarded an Elm Institute course of their choice. Elm Institute is a project of the International Open University. Sister Sarah Ali Khan, MAI's degree program, spring 2022 graduating batch from Canada, is being awarded one Elm Institute course of her choice. Uh, Deni Putri Kusumawati, uh, Bridge to MAI's program. Bridge to MAI's program, the postgraduate uh, certificate in Islamic studies uh, from fall 2021, graduating batch from Indonesia, is being awarded one semester scholarship of our MAI's program. Uh, we have then Nabila Palikar, an, uh, another graduate from Bridge to MAI's program, spring 2022 batch from South Africa is being awarded one semester scholarship of our MAIS. Next, we have Maran Kinte, BA Arabic degree program, fall 2021 from Nigeria, is being awarded an Elm Institute course of their choice, Hamida Khatun, from BA Arabic degree program, spring 2022 batch from Pakistan, is being awarded an Elm Institute course of their choice. Rasina Thankayasil, uh, from the Postgraduate Certificate in Arabic, BM Arabic program, Fall 2021 batch from India, is being awarded an Elm Institute course of their choice. Then we have Shaima Fuad Muhammad Abdul Hamid Siam from Canada, is being awarded uh, an Elm Institute course of their choice. Sayyid Usama Imam, a BBA degree, Fall 2021 from Pakistan, is being awarded an Elm Institute course of their choice. Zainab Uru Jabbasi from UAE BBA degree, spring 2022 graduating batch, is being awarded an Elm Institute course of their choice. Afshan Asar Sheikh, uh, BD degree, this is Bachelor of Education degree, fall 2021 graduating batch from the United States, is being awarded an Elm Institute course of their choice. Rafa Bola Joko Fashola Adagun, Bachelor of Education degree, spring 2022 batch, from New Zealand is being awarded an M Institute course of their choice. Sherno C. Jello, uh, this is a BSc in Islamic Banking, Economics and Finance degree, is being awarded uh, from the Gambia, is being awarded an M Institute course of their choice. Busena Abdul Halim Said, from uh, this is the Bachelor of Science in Islamic Banking, Economics and Finance, Spring 2022 batch. Uh, from Kenya is being awarded in an Elm Institute course of their choice. Zunaira Rehan, BSc Psychology degree from Pakistan is being 
awarded an institute course of their choice. Sister Kafat Aziz uh, from Nigeria is being awarded an institute course of their choice. And uh, then we have Bubakar Drame from Gambia is being awarded an institute course of their choice. And uh, finally, Muhammad Yusuf Ali Dolut from BCIT degree uh, from spring 2022 graduation graduating batch from the United Kingdom is being awarded an institute course of their choice. MashaAllah, Barakallahu Fikum for your outstanding performance. May Allah accept it from you. And may Allah let your efforts be an inspiration for all of our current students as well. Alhamdulillah, Amin, Amin. The award recipients are kindly requested to contact the help desk to avail the gift, which is uh, for this spring 2023 semester. So in order to receive your gift, please uh, get in touch by March 2023, inshallah. Now, as we reach the end of today's program, it is truly a privilege and an honor for me now to extend the vote of thanks. Jazakumullahu khairan kathiran, honorable chancellor, vice chancellor, respected shiuch, distinguished guests, our eminent faculty and members of IUU administration, IUU alumni, our graduates, family and friends of our graduates. I thank and make a sincere dua, first and foremost, for Professor Dr. Bilal Phillips, our founder and chancellor, for his vision to change the nation through education, for the great enthusiasm and hard work, which has been the driving force behind the entire team of IOU to remain motivated and to reach where we are today. On behalf of our university, I urge and request all of you to make dua for the progress, expansion, and sustainability of our esteemed institution and for its recognition and acceptance in all corners of the globe, and that it continues to benefit more and more people. Amin. We extend our special thanks and gratitude to IU Governing Council, the University Senate, all the faculty and members of the administration for your great efforts, which have borne fruit today, alhamdulillah. My deepest thanks and gratitude to Dr. Muhammad Salah, Dr. Sherno Omar Barry, Dr. Muhammad Ahsan, and Sister Kafat Aziz for your insightful words for our graduates. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of you, Amin. And to our team, the staff members who worked tirelessly for today's ceremony, Barakallahu Fikum, may Allah accept it from all of you. To our honorable guests, IOU highly appreciates all of you who attended today and made it so special for our graduates, Barakallahu Fikum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this a blessed day in your life on a noble path which leads to Jannatul Firdaus al-A'la. Jazakumullahu khairan kathiran to everyone present in this memorable ceremony today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.